coronavirus is spreading. Panic! Everybody panic! Run! Run to Costco right now. Get bottles of water. Get toilet paper. Get as much as you can. If you see a toddler with toilet paper, smack that little motherfucker in the head. Grab that toilet paper. Run to the counter. We are all going to die. That's pretty much what's going on in every news channel right now. I did a thing on the coronavirus uh, about a month, two months ago. I'm sure it is getting worse. I have no doubt in my mind it is. It's because... People are, they finally have testing for it before, you know, people were just guessing and, you know, coughing and, you know, going to the emergency room, you know, the crazy people. <coughs> coronavirus? No, you have a cough. Okay. You know, running around the block, getting a sweat. <coughs> coronavirus? I think, look, look, look. No, just please go away. Now they have an actual test that can tell you whether you have coronavirus or not. And, of course, numbers are going to go up because people being identified as having it who were just guessing before didn't give a fuck. All right, but I just love the fucking chaos that's coming out of all this. First of all, all the doomsday preppers are my favorite. They're going, see, I told you, I told you, I told you me wearing this tinfoil hat, stocking my tornado cellar with all this paper towels and Campbell's soup, like 500 cans, and, you know, making my own makeshift toilet that, you know, decomposes poop on its own. Told you, y'all gonna be wanting it. Listen, Jethro, let me tell you this real fast. If there is some kind of mass outbreak like Stephen King's The Stand or something like that, it will get to you too. I don't care where you are. I don't care if you're down below or whatever like that. Shit's going to get to you. What, are you going to live there forever? Five, ten years, you're going to sit there? You're going to die. You're going to eventually run out of shit. Get the fuck out of here. But the, then the people running the Costco, and now everybody, we've turned into you know China and other Asian countries. You ever see people now wearing the masks everywhere? I do. Everybody's wearing the surgical mask. They've already told you, that doesn't do dick. That doesn't do a fucking thing. All that does is make you look like you're auditioning for, you know, a medical show. That's it. Like, are you auditioning for the part of the post-op search? Okay, I don't fucking know what they're doing. Like, that's it. Because that shit can get in through those little things, all right? Anything. If somebody sneezes on you, test it. If, you, if you're so convinced of it, I want somebody with a mask to walk up to a corona patient. That cough in my face. This works. Do it. Cough. I'm not going to get it even if you do. Cough in my fucking face. I guarantee you're going to get that motherfucker. It's for people. It's to stop people from, you know... Ex expelling the shit if you have it okay that's it but i just love so now the news it was ridiculous before when i go to the gym it's in every but not just one channel two channels have it. it's coronavirus oh my god people in italy have coronavirus we're, we're quarantining romania uh there's five more cases in tennessee i swear to god i'm waiting for one of the anchors to rip their hair out and be like, ah, ah, oh god oh god there's five more coronavirus there's a hundred in new york there's a hundred jesus fucking wet, run, run, we're all gonna die, I'm gonna, I'm gonna write out a Bible quote and hold it, oh Lord, please forgive me for all my sins, ah, like, why not just get as crazy as you want to be, seriously, I'm waiting for them to just be like, it's all over, it's all over, run, let's pray, Anderson Cooper's gonna light a candle and he's gonna stick it up his ass or something, <laughs> It's fucking batshit crazy. And then they're interviewing stupid people running to Walmart and getting the hand sanitizer. People are charging, I thought this was bullshit, like $300 or $200 for hand sanitizer. $300 for hand sanitizer. Wash your fucking hands. Bar of soap. That's all you fucking need. Wash your hands. You don't need a hand sanitizer every fucking second. But now, let's get down to the serious part of it. I feel bad for the people who do have the coronavirus. Motherfuckers who are on ships, cruise ships, with pipe people who have it, who are just guilty by association, I would be so pissed if I was one of them. Now they're quarantining the cruises, so when the cruises come back, they're going to be greeted by, you know, the military. They're going to be friendly. They're going to be like, hi, how was your trip? Great. Want a cup of coffee? Okay, come on. No, just ignore all these people in hazmat suits. We're going to treat you so well, it's going to be like staying at the Ritz-Carlton. You're going to love it. What cable channel do you like the best? We're going to put it on there. <laughs> who wants a massage? Me? I'll join you. Not going to be like that. Not going to be like that. What they're going to do is they're going to... Ooh, fuck it. I want to spit for it. What the fuck? I need some water. <laughs> Corona. It's starting. <laughs> no, they're, they're going to be like... They're going to yank them all off. They're going to fucking search every body cavity they can. They're going to put them in some tent for God knows how long. And they're just going to sit there and watch them in these big fucking scary suits. Do you feel like you have to cough? Do you have to fart? Let me know. People who go to the emergency room now, they clear out the emergency room. And I understand the protocol and all that, but imagine being the poor fucker who they don't even know if you have the coronavirus. You could just have the regular flu. You could just have, you know, a really, really, really bad cold that's gotten out of control. You show up there like, I don't feel... Do you, do you have, um, you know, a fever? Yeah, I think I might. Do you know anybody who's been outside of the U.S. at all in a major metropolitan city that you happen to live in and you might have come in contact with, even though maybe you didn't even know they were in China? Or some other country like Italy or, you know, um, Bangladesh. I, is that a country or city? I don't even know at this point. Maybe. We'll be right back. Okay, a 
fucking just set me on fire real fast, put me out. <laughs> I'm going to get all the shit off me. Let's start hosing everybody down. Get the hazmat suits. Let's throw this bitch in a tent. Let's go. That's what they're doing. Now, I understand why you're doing that. You want you stop the spread of it. I could never be quarantined. I'll tell you what. Well, there's the only way I could be quarantined. The house quarantines? Yes, please. Fuck it. I, right now, I don't, I don't feel good. <clears throat> I, my, oh, I think I have the, you know, uh, fucking, yeah, Corona. It's, I, I talked to a Chinese person today. I think I got it. I really do. I have no idea. Put me in the fucking house quarantine. That's the easiest thing on the planet. Are you kidding me? I get to stay home. I get to stay home and do absolutely fucking nothing. And fucking, you just, well, you can't go out for two weeks. Well, fuck me. Guess I'll just have to sit, play in my phone and do the shit that I usually do. Oh, well, fuck. <laughs> but if it was on a cruise or something else, I would find a way to get off that motherfucker. I mean, you ain't gonna make me stay in some fucking, you ain't gonna put me in a tent. I have an aversion to tents. Something happened a long time ago with my Uncle Bob and I don't wanna talk about it. But, you know, the candy was good. I'll just say that much. I mean, what happened, what, you know, came before that, not so great. But Jesus Christ, everybody's lost their damn mind already. Listen, it is a scary thing, fine, but calm the fuck down. There's more cases of the flu, the regular flu. There's more cases of probably the common cold than there is the coronavirus at this point, all right? So just everybody relax. It's going to be okay. You're going to die. You're all going to die. <laughs> You're all going to die. Stop watching the news. They're the worst. They'll interview anybody. I swear to God, anybody, they'll, they, they're like pulling doctors out of ERs right now to just sit them down and be like, okay, uh, before we go on air, I'm going to ask you really scary questions about coronavirus. Just keep saying, I don't know. People need to be cautious. And uh, this could be really bad. Okay. You with me? All right. Here's a hundred. Okay. Fine. Here's 500. Just fucking do what I tell you to. Every doctor's like, well, this could be the worst thing we've ever seen since 1812 when, you know, a bunch of locusts came and killed a bunch of people. That was the Bible. Uh, well, it's going to be really, really bad. Um, we're probably going to have to tent off America and spray it with um, Lysol or something. This is really bad. They have like little reporters standing outside in New York and all that. New York, I feel bad for those motherfuckers right now. I've got 100 cases. 100 cases. How many people are in New York? Like 5 billion or something like that? you got 100 cases. And then they're saying that those cases all might have come from the same person who exposed everybody else. Dumb white person. I guarantee it, like I said before, stupid white person. Like, I'm just bored. I felt like going to like, you know, China just for fun. And some really fucked up part of China where they don't have like indoor plumbing and everything's, you know, there's dead babies in the streets and just shit everywhere and flies. So I'm going to be closer to the real people and see how people live. I'm going to take a couple of photos. It's one of those fuckers. One of those fuckers got it, came back to New York, gave it to everybody else. I swear to God, like, oh, I don't feel so good. Oh, let me post these pictures up on Facebook really fast first though. Fuck. Been a while since I've been on here. Sorry about that. Had some things going on, but uh, yes, I got a couple more stories I'm going to be doing. I got one about, what was it? I gotta, I gotta look at your suggestions again. You flood me with suggestions. I love them, but it takes me a bit. So yeah, coronavirus. I don't think, and by the way, I saw the funniest article. I'm gonna leave you with this. I'm Chinese. I don't have the coronavirus. I could not have let that go. I swear to God, if I had met that person, I'm Chinese. That doesn't mean I have the coronavirus. Then really, why is your name Achu? Okay, what the, <laughs> I'm, something's going on with you. Get the fuck out of here. I'm, I'm Chinese. I don't have the coronavirus. I don't have the coronavirus yet. But, you know, I've been hanging around with a lot of Mexicans lately. I, my, you know, you might want to watch me.